thing I would improve is the um, junior junior section here because it's not a lot of um, juniors coming to this club. But we have a nice clubhouse and um, I think a lot is improving really. Um, it'd be nice to get more juniors playing. Okay, James, thanks for being here today. That's I know all right, Chris. You know a lot on tennis, you've coached it a lot, and obviously um, know a lot about it. So, um, I want to ask you really um, with the men's and women's game, do you think there's a difference as in with the men, is it one dimensional, or is it a lot different with the women being one dimensional? What do you think is more? Is it the top dog in the men's or the women's? There's definitely more different styles of play in the men's game at the minute compared to the women. I think the women a few years ago, probably about five, six years ago, when they had Hernan Moresmo, um, Ingis, uh, that, then that was a much more interesting game. But I think now they've fallen behind the men. I think that still with the men, I mean, you know, you, you've got Varinka, Federer, who played totally different to, to the likes of Murray. And Gasquet and as well. Gasquet, but he, you, if you look at the top, yeah, three, he's not four really players. Up there, is he? They've gone through it. It, it has been for the men's game. It's been a golden era. Whether we're, we've been so lucky, and whether we'll ever get that back again, yeah, I, I doubt it because they've broken every record book under the sun. Yeah, um, I wanted to ask you about um, how the junior section is rising in clubs. Do you think more juniors are playing the game now, or do you think it's I think so, but it's um, is keeping them in the game. Yeah. I think um, whether it's right or wrong, that's a, another debate. But we do start the kids off very early, um, and we do enter them into a competitions very early. But there is a huge drop off rate by twelve, thirteen. Yeah. As far as the clubs go, I think you know, it's. it's I think there's a healthy number. I think the clubs have got good juniors. Yeah. So I'm always a bit surprised when we sort of say our numbers are down. But as I said, locally around here, no, the, the numbers are good. All right, it's good then, um, because tennis as a sport, I think, is growing, isn't it? A lot more people are starting to get into it. You say that, but I think it was only last year more, there was only a slight rise in participation overall in the country. There has been a decrease, and actually, even when Andy Murray won Wimbledon, there was a drop off in numbers of people who were participating in actually playing once a week. Yeah. I mean, it was just phenomenal. That's no. quite interesting, really. Mm. I thought when a, a player like Murray would win a Grand Slam like that, I'd get more people into the sport. No, no, it's dropped off, and um, the, the LTA um, have been heavily criticised. Uh, and no participation last year went up the amount of people are playing. But it's, it's, it's really, as I said, it's, it's all around. Yeah. Um, okay, um, before I end the interview, who's your pick to win today's final? Uh, Djokovic or Murray? That's a tough one. I'm going to go with Murray. I'm going to stick my head out because I think overall, I think Djokovic, with the weight of history, he'll be the first guy in the modern era ever to have held all four Grand Slams since Rod Laver. That's quite incredible, really. Well, it is, and um, to, to, to do that, he's put himself up there, but whether yeah. the weight of history will get too much for him yeah. with a stubborn opponent like Murray. I mean, they both haven't won it, so they both probably won it just as much. Yeah, and Murray will also break some record books because yeah. he'll be the first guy since Fred Perry since 1935 to have won uh, the Grand Slam the French Open as yeah. well, so that would be quite something for him as well. So, no, I think it's going to be more of a mental one with the, with the pressure, and particularly if um, Novak's two sets up or, or it's set up and serving, yeah. he's going to feel that weight That's of his Murray going. digs in and tries to yeah. find something. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going for Murray. You think Murray, I think Murray. Thanks, James, for being Pleasure. here. Pleasure. That's all right, Chris. See you next time. Okay, so um, Wayne, um, how do you think tennis as a sport has evolved then throughout the years? Um, I think it certainly has evolved in the last few years, to say the least. Um, the equality in, in sports between men and women has upped its game. 
uh, but also the use of technology um, for deciding if the ball's in or out. However, I think it's a bit, it's a lot bit of way to go because you know I think you know any decisions should be made not just having a certain amount. Um, also, I think there's a lot of way to go with women and men's equality. Um, however, it's going in the right direction, and I do believe in the next few years it will be a sport that has to be reckoned with. Yeah, but um, I mean the men's game now is a lot um, more than a lot two dimensional. It's not just the same players on top. There's a lot of um, different players coming through, isn't there? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, we've seen that recently with uh, uh, certain players, uh, Dal Lexi as well after Jude injury. It's like I think we've got to realise with men's sport is within tennis is um, there's no guaranteed no guaranteed results of who's going to come out on top. It's not an easy bet. Um, one of them, um, even this bitch won with the wild card. Yeah. Them. That was, that was, no one would have bet on that. Yeah. But it was amazing, so that was good to say. Um, so, tennis one day is you just at your peak, you know, and you have good times and bad times. That's what makes the game more interesting. I mean, Nadal is injured, but yeah. he, he's a sure fire I to mean, win. we're both Rafa fans. So. We are indeed, yes. Um, he should have won that, and he's yeah. won a wrist injury again. So, it is one of those. So, you can't, you know, I. I'm a betting man, but I would never bet on tennis because yeah. there's no It's guarantee. so unpredictable now with all the different players Absolutely. in. Absolutely. But I mean, we're fans of the sport. We like Rafa and it's the, t the game's on the up. Yep. So that's the important thing. And it's just a great sport to watch, I think. Yeah. I mean, it does annoy me, though. Um, I think the coverage of tennis needs to be a bit more widespread. Yeah. I know we have women down, it's very British, and that's great. They'll get to see it on TV and coverage. But there are so many other tournaments that don't get as much attention as they should, whereas football or rugby at the moment do and tennis is appreciated by many people and I think it needs to be more recognised that fact but not just uh, the tournaments for women done which is great and we're wrong but there are some other tournaments that need that coverage yeah, and attention. Yeah I agree well thanks for chatting today and um, bye. Folks in Malone. You know? Mr. Snowman on production. Watch this, I got a brand new three bedroom crib with spotlights in the ceiling, it's sick Got a beanbag in the computer room, all I need now is Grand Theft Auto 6 Got an office and everything cocaine white, in the morning it can get too bright But it doesn't affect me these days cause I've been staying up way too deep in the night Thinking about before it all went bad, before the day I met my real dad Before I knew about money and bills and how they both made my mum get sad It's like counting about 25 bags, I'm running out of elastic bands Cause it turns out, when you make money on the road, there's nothing you can do with the cash So I jump in the S-line drive Fast, hope I don't bump into my stepdad Cause they say mental abuse is worse than physical abuse And I wanna get him back But I don't wanna do another custodial sentence In a 4x4 pad And I gotta take this time to apologise to my best friend Cause we almost crashed Let me try and explain, it's intricate Because I never been playing, it's intimate Because I never contacted a counsellor to get rid of this pain I walk with it and now I'm going insane Losing control of my own brain Watching documentaries on serial killers And feeling that I can relate, did you find that strange? Yeah? Okay, well let me get this straight If I do a life sentence or I don't make it It's cause I could not handle the pain I